Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Tech Bytes with Dilip. Let's see what is operating system and its definition in simple way. An operating system is an interface between a computer user and a computer hardware. Yes, operating system we know, we are using a Windows operating system, Windows 7, Windows 8, Linux operating system. We have many examples of operating system and why this operating system is needed and what is an operating system. An operating system is an interface between a computer user that is V and the computer hardware. Computer hardware can be a monitor or it can be CPU or it can be anything. An operating system is software which uh, performs all the basic tasks like file management, memory management, process management, handling input and output and controlling the peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers. So what is the meaning of this statement? The meaning of this statement is an operating system is nothing but a software. Software is nothing but what? A set of instruction is called a software. An operating system which is a software which performs what function? It, form, it performs the basic tasks like file management and uh, memory management and uh, process management. Okay, what is file management here? That means you have any many number of files here. Uh, Windows, uh, uh, that is uh, Microsoft Office files, PDF files and you have audio files, video files. These are file management. This, these uh, files comes under file management. And what is memory management? Memory management means if you consider your hard disk is 500 GB, you can partition it to uh, by using operating system you can partition into 100 GB, 100 GB, 100 GB. So you can have 5 segments like that or if you want to segment to only uh, 2 sectors or 2 fragments at that time 250 GB constitutes 1 segment, 250 GB constitutes 1 more segment. So this comes under, this is nothing but memory management. Now next is process management. What is process management? Here assume that in your computer you are doing uh, one uh, you are downloading one file from the internet that is the first task you are doing and the second task is you are typing some uh, uh, resume you are typing some document in the Microsoft Word that is the second process you are doing and the third process uh, you can consider that you are uh, listening a music from the audio player so these are the three functions you are doing you are carrying uh, from your laptop or from your desktop computer so these are the three process which are running in your computer I repeat number one downloading a file from internet number two listening a audio file number three you are typing a document so these three process can be managed by your operating system itself that is what speed will be given to what process that will be decided by your operating system that much uh, speciality your operating system has or that much importance your oper operating system has so we have to choose a strong operating system for our electronic equipments now next is handling input and output devices yes of course to handle input and output devices you require an operating system then uh, to handle uh, some disk drives and printers you require an operating system with respect to operating system only that means if you are if you are having a printer you have to install a printer software and that software should be installed in the operating system file only so our operating system disk only so that is the use of operating system and operating and printers now some of the popular operating system they have listed their linux uh, windows operating system vms so these are the example and we know it see the definition of operating system actually we have discussed this in the first slide just quick recap an operating system is a program it acts as an interface between the user we the user and the computer hardwares and it controls the execution of all kinds of programs and how it controls the execution of all kinds of programs that we will see in the uh, further slides so you can see from the diagram you have uh, user 1 user 2 and n number of users which is connected to a operating system operating system is nothing but a set of softwares now in the operating system you have two kinds of softwares one is system software and one more is application softwares uh, to give you an example system software is an example like uh, when you install an operating system inbuilt software will be there so that is called a system softwares what is an application software we users if we externally install the softwares then that kind of software is called as application software. Example, in our mobile systems, 
or in our laptops if we uh, install the zoom app zoom software it is an application software or if you install our matlab or xilinx or vlsi softwares it is called as application softwares now hardwares hardwares the main parts in hardwares are cpu central processing unit random access memory and input output devices thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel tech bytes with dilip feel free to comment your views and queries